tonight, nuclear deal. The province signs on, adding fuel to the debate over nuclear power. Cervical. Hi there, and thanks for checking us out today. There's new money for nuclear research in the province tonight. Millions of dollars will be spent, including money to study nuclear reactors. And today, that is creating some reaction. The CBC's David Shield reports. It's another busy day at Hitachi Industries. The Japanese-based company has been building power plants in the province for more than 40 years. Now the company is looking at the future of nuclear. It just signed an agreement with the province to spend $5 million on researching everything from nuclear safety to small reactors. The province will kick in the rest. Minister and Rob Norris says almost $70 million has already been spent on nuclear research this year. Today what we see is a continuation of this momentum, saying that Saskatchewan is reclaiming a leadership role regarding nuclear research and development. This is a peaceful, responsible, but robust agenda. Over at the synchrotron, researchers are welcoming the money. This professor says Saskatchewan is doing very good work in medical research. We are one of a very few uh, synchrotron biomedical facilities in the world. There's no other facility like this in North America. You have to go quite far. So I think there's an opportunity here to advance you know, biomedical research. However, this community activist worries about research into small nuclear reactors. The province says small reactors are the only option for Saskatchewan's power grid, and he wants nothing to do with it. When you start opening up the reactors, what you do is you get into a compromised circle. Then you're starting to produce nuclear waste. Then you're starting to, you know, the question then becomes, well, Saskatchewan, you produce it, you process it, now you're using it, so why don't you store it? The innovation minister says there hasn't been much research into small reactors. Today's money will change that, but still, the technology to build one is at least five to ten years off. David Shield, CBC News, Saskatoon. And as far as generating power in Canada goes, here's how things break down. Most people get their electricity from hydro. Now, this is across Canada, and that's followed by coal, nuclear power, and natural gas. Right now, let's... Is the CTV News with Rob McDonald and Chantel Huber. Tachi have signed an agreement worth $10 million. The funding is for two memorandums of understanding that will support research for nuclear medicine, materials, science, nuclear safety, and small reactor design. Innovation Saskatchewan and Hitachi will each contribute $5 million to the research and develop over the next five years. The province says the agreement will allow Saskatchewan scientists to work side by side with Hitachi experts on developing research, including proton beam therapy. Hitachi is well known to be uh, very well positioned and play a leadership role in proton beam therapy. That's an area that our medical researchers are very interested in getting more involved in. That proton beam therapy is vitally important in fighting cancer. Well, it's being